characteristics of a diode for that we need a, a variable dc voltage as the first element so we will take so this uh, this will vary the voltage from 0 to as we decide next we will take the diode uh, 1n4407 as the diode then we will take the resistive resistor load uh, so resistor load we will we will set set the value as a 100 ohm uh, so these are all the components enough to draw the characteristics then we will take the we will take the multimeter in order to measure the voltage and current uh, of the device of the circuit so now we will connect uh, with the wires as per the standard diagram we will connect with the wires so the here after the resistor we have the ammeter to measure the current across the diode uh, we will connect the voltmeter uh, so this voltmeter will measure the voltage across the diode right over now it is enough now we need to set the voltage so this voltage initial initial uh, we will set the voltage of uh, 15 volt as the maximum voltage with the increment of uh, 5 percentage 0.5 percentage so here we have the sliding point point contact by varying the slider uh, we can vary the voltage of the variable supply now this uh, this ammeter we will set as a uh, set as ammeter a and uh, with the dc voltage uh, dc voltage as set then we will set the voltage uh, voltmeter as a v and the dc voltage set the signal dc signal now it is enough. now the circuit is uh, ready to run uh, everything is ready and now let us zoom the diagram uh, right so now when we vary the voltage uh, variable voltage uh, using the slide sliding contact when we vary, vary the voltage simultaneously uh, see the uh, ammeter and voltmeter readings it is uh, changing uh, parallelly so we will tab tablet the values uh, for different values of a, a variable voltage setting with the uh, ammeter readings and uh, voltmeter readings this uh, this randomly you can vary so those values are calculated uh, and tabulated uh, tabulated here i'm using the excel sheet uh, to tablet the values so here uh, this is the excel sheet so here we have the first graph is nothing but a forward uh, characteristics so the x-axis is nothing but a voltage source and y-axis is the current voltage uh, y-axis is the current so these uh, these two are mentioned in, in terms of a millivolt and a milliampere so this is the graph for a forward characteristics now uh, we will consider the reverse characteristics the same diagram uh, the voltage source is getting reversed so here this variable voltage source is getting reversed so that uh, just uh, uh, delete the wires and uh, Recon uh, change the polarity of the voltage uh, that is uh, upper one is minus lower one is plus now connect the wires so here uh, we have the arrangement for uh, reverse bias characteristics now here we will set the voltage as a high, high higher value so the uh, nearly thousand or uh, whatever may be we will set the higher value so with the, with the increment of one, one percentage now see the sliding contact the sliding contact uh, values also simultaneously change as we have done in the previous uh, forward characteristics here also vary the variable voltage value and uh, measure the volt, voltmeter or meter readings and uh, tablet tablet thumb then those values are taken into the excel sheet uh, for a uh, for the graph so here uh, the right, uh, right side tabular column is nothing but the reverse bias characteristics for different values of voltage i have the current so the graph in the lower graph is shown the uh, is taken as the reverse characteristics graph so how to draw the diagraph means uh, select the values and to make the in the excel sheet you can easily uh, draw the characteristics so thank you all okay thank you all bye